The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the show here at TFNN, here from 100 South Broad Street, from the offices of Duke and Duke in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, folks, uh, the first chart that I put in here today is the Pythagorated Theorem from uh, Pythagoras. Back in 650 B.C., he was the first man to uh, realize that the earth, well, the first one we know of that wrote about it, uh, other than the Egyptians, uh, and then the Sumerians and the Babylonians. But in modern times, which is in the last couple thousand years, he was the one that uh, really discovered that the earth was round. He knew that the distance between the earth and the moon was 250,000 miles. Uh, he had done a lot of work on eclipses and all kinds of stuff like that. So he was way ahead of his time. He was the first man to use uh, the square roots of numbers. And Einstein attributes him to, you know, most of the stuff that we deal with in modern day science now because of the theories that he had had. Einstein said there was man and there was God and in between was Pythagoras. Uh, two of my favorite quotes from Albert Einstein was one is God does in G God does indeed geometricize and God does not roll dice with the universe and that's where we come up with you know some of these patterns but where this where you see this c squared equal a squared plus b squared you know that's basically you know they're looking at the hypotenuse of the triangles and stuff and that's what you're doing when you're dealing with patterns is you're dealing with a triangle you have a high low high or a low high low and that's really what you're what you're trying to do you're trying to get it within a a uh, relatively uh, tight um, window so that you don't have to risk very much, but that's really what you're what you're trying to do. The patterns that I use, I mean, you're all familiar with them, but I'm going to put them into the tiger den here just to remind you that this is where they come from. They come from that work of Pythagoras and also Isaac Newton and stuff like that. And this was a uh, clock that one of my students built for me. It's an Italian marble clock, all etched, hand etched, because he happens to be a sculptor. And each of these patterns is, this was the... Um, the uh, layout of the diagram before he did the clock and uh, it weighs about 30 pounds and uh, it's it's a really a beautiful beautiful clock and even when it's broken it's worth it's, it works twice a day anyway this is what we're going to be looking at here we've got a bunch of things happening uh, we've had some pretty good moves as you know yesterday when we broke through the uh, S&P up at that 19 uh, uh, 59 level uh, we just literally took off to the races and uh, you know had a pretty good run in uh, in some of these things. I've had a request uh, this morning uh, to take a look uh, at the price of Apple. And so that's the first one we're going to look at today. Uh, by the way, on Friday, uh, we are going to have a, a guest, uh, Kyle Cooper from um, Centurion um, Partners. Uh, it's a oil and gas energy group out of Houston. Uh, they specialize in that. He's been our guest before, and we're going to be talking about natural gas and crude oil and some other things. He's got some real interesting ideas for us that we'll be able to look at. Remember, we're still looking for a potential here in this natural gas, you know, to form a major, major place, uh, you know, to look at it. Um, the uh, Some of the quotes that you folks are putting in here in the room about Einstein are certainly fantastic, but my favorite one is in the definition definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different a different result. <laughs> that's one of my favorites. And sometimes that's what you think trading is all about, that you're doing the same thing over and over again and getting a bad result. But uh, that's not uh, that's not the case usually. We've got some really smart people here that contribute at TFNN. And uh, 
it's really fun to listen to all the things that they that they have uh, to talk about. But this is uh, this my my specialty happens to be pattern recognition. Uh, that's that's what I do. I don't listen to the news or anything like that. So I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what some of these patterns are doing. The uh, one I wanted to talk about yesterday uh, today is the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index because we had that big run up and we did take out those highs of Monday which uh, I thought we were going to have a little bit of a difficulty because it was right at a, a 382 level. But as you can see, we're still in a major downtrend here in uh, in the S&P, uh, the S&P also, the, the um, New York Stock Exchange Index and the Dow. They're all in downtrends. We're having good rallies in some of these, some more than others. But uh, we are having some pretty good, uh, pretty good run-ups uh, from this level. So as you can see from this, uh, move here. We had that two-day correction, uh, and then we had that expanding triangle on Monday. Actually, it came in Friday. We had the sell-off uh, Monday into early Tuesday, and then, of course, Tuesday uh, in the middle of the night, uh, that's when China and uh, Hong Kong and the rest of Asia had a, a big turn to the upside. And uh, things started to heat up, and they broke up to the upside with a 334 move uh, in the Dow uh, in one day, which was uh, one of the best days of the year, I believe. And uh, now we've run up to some pretty, some pretty interesting uh, resistance areas that I'll share with you as we get along into the show uh, a little bit later. Now, one of the uh, one of the questions that someone has asked me uh, about, of course, just give me one second here. I wanted to bring up. Uh, there's a, they've, they've had I've had some requests here to to share some stocks with you of different things that are going on, and that's what I that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, the first one that someone's asked me about, of course, is. Uh, uh, is Facebook, and we've had a pretty good run in Facebook. Now, yesterday, uh, Facebook was able uh, to get up to the 61% retracement during that big run-up. It got up to that uh, 109.82. It's trading just a little bit below that right now, but there's also a possibility that we could get up, you know, to the 113 level. But uh, the important one about this one, and then this was happening back on January you know, the uh, 10th, when we were watching this real, excuse me, January 20th, uh, you notice that 20 man line that was there. This was actually a chart sent to me by one of our uh, listeners here at TFNN to ask me about the 20 man line. And that's nothing more than a trend line that, you know, connected from several places. And then in the future, the market comes back and touches that line. And uh, I don't know why it does. It's probably something related to the geometry of that, but that's neither here nor there. But when it hits, these things are incredibly accurate, but they don't happen very often. Uh, and so you've got to be able to, uh, you know, wait for them. And when you see them, you got to make sure that they're going to hold. And then you decide whether you want to be a buyer or a seller when it hits those lines. Uh, Jim Twentyman uh, discovered those lines, and that's why I call it the Twentyman line. Um, a couple other people have used it uh, because of Jim, and they use it with a great deal of success. But the way Jim found it was by looking at these 45-degree angles and 62-degree angles that Gann had talked about when he was working with his square with square of nine. So that's where it comes from. But however, how long it's going to last or anything, we really don't know. But when we see them, we certainly have to pay attention to them. And uh, that's the... The key. We've got a break here. My goodness, you got to be kidding. 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
Lyft has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days, and will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of um, Google showing the little ABCD correction that we're going through right now. Uh, and then the second chart that I posted immediately after that is the E-mini uh, futures, looking at them on an hourly basis. And as you can see, the expanding triangle that we had up at the 1.618 level at the 1969, um, and then we came all the way down uh, to 1923. Uh, we were looking to see if we could get to that 1919 level, but it didn't quite make it. And then, of course, it had the big uh, explosion to the upside. The key to that, uh, I believe, is when we were on the air, uh, because the market had held that 1948 level, uh, went down to 1939, and it immediately came back and went above it, which was showing a, a sign of a great deal of internal strength in the market. And then we, we started to... Uh, go higher and we went through the number that I was looking at which was um, at 1958 uh, and a half and as soon as that went above 1962 uh, that was a pretty good indication that it was going you know to going to go uh, a little bit higher folks I you know this market's had one hell of a rally since January the 20th uh, that was the big ABCD and the New York Stock Exchange Index the Dow the Nasdaq everything was telling us that that was a a major bottom and now we are you know five weeks six weeks now uh, into this uh, rally and uh, I believe it's going to end uh, probably uh, sometime between now and the time when we have the solar eclipse and new moon on uh, March the uh, 8th. Um, Martin Norm Winsky from uh, Astro Trends is going to be our guest uh, on uh, Thursday 
the uh, 10th of uh, of March. So that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. And then I'm going to also do my best to have two other people that we've had requests for. One is Stan Harley uh, with his cycle work that has done uh, has done extremely well. And then also we're going to have Ed Carlson back on. And then uh, of course we have to have our good friend from Cycles Research in uh, Vienna, Austria, Bill Meridian. Uh, on so we'll be able to uh, to see uh, the work that they're doing also we, we need to have those on very soon because we're coming into what we think are some significant cycles uh, they certainly are on a lunar basis and using the Bradley model but uh, as Stan Harley and um, also uh, uh, Ed Carlson uh, from the market technicians, um, they use uh, you know nominal cycles, and um, that I mean the nominal cycles are actually astral cycles, but they don't call them that because I don't think they like to use the A word. But if you go back and look at those cycles, that's exactly what they are. Uh, you can you can prove that to yourself if you wanted to. Edwin Dewey from the Foundation from the Study of Cycles, right before he passed away, felt that that was going to be the next era of technical analysis. Analysis would be the astrology, and I, I think th there's something there for sure. But you know, I don't have the keys to it. I've never even come close. However, one of my very dear friends in the UK has certainly came a lot closer than close because uh, he told me two weeks ago that the S&P was going to hit 1981, and I didn't believe him. And uh, by golly, he's right. And if I told you what his next target is, you would probably run me off the air. But uh, it's somewhere between 1745 and 1755 in the S&P 500, and that's over the next five weeks. So we'll see if that's going to be the case or not. But anyway, that's what they're, that's what he is uh, suggesting, and he's been incredibly right. Um, there's a possibility, of course, you know, looking at the ABCD structure of the S&P, that we could make the uh, 2020 area you know, without any trouble. And we've ran 165 points, no more than that, 175 points from our low at 1804. And so that tells us that, uh, you know, we could certainly travel another 60 or 70 points without any any trouble at all, especially with the help that we're getting from uh, Asia, you know, with the emerging markets uh, uh, completing another Gartley uh, also, as, along with some of the others that we've had. And that's telling us that, you know, we're certainly looking at some markets that are bouncing back from very, very uh, oversold conditions. And I think that's uh, really all we're doing. Now, I think that um, it's important that we uh, change subjects here for a little bit because we're getting very, very close to one of our favorite uh, uh, things to trade, and that is the wheat market. And uh, uh, we know that the lunar aspects in wheat are incredibly accurate. This has been reported by the uh, the Sumerians back in, uh, uh, what, thousands of years ago, B.C., Dr. Andrew Lowe in his book, the evolution of technical analysis, uh, the first 50 pages, was about astrology and how the ancients had worked with it and used the planet Mercury and the planet Moon for their uh, predictions on, you know, wheat, wheat harvesting and stuff like that. And, of course, this is going back uh, even before my time. And, uh, anyway, there's something there because the cycles are there. You know, it's nothing more than a 14- and 28-day cycle. But when we have an eclipse occurring like we do with this new moon coming up on the 8th, it has added significance. And as you can see uh, by this chart that we're looking at here uh, in the wheat, that we are completing uh, three major ABCD patterns down here at the uh, 440 uh, a bushel level. And uh, we're not very far away from, excuse me, around 438. And we're only about seven cents away. That's a heartbeat in, in wheat. So we could easily make that today or or anytime very, very soon. But we want to be watching for a potential turn because this thing has been coming down for many months. And since December, it's made these beautiful uh, patterns. And we're now coming up to this three drive pattern that is forming in the area where we are right now. So we want to pay very close attention to that because it offers a very low risk trading opportunity. Because as you get to point D, you know, all of these numbers are coming together. And that's the real advantage of when you're dealing with pattern recognition is that you're assuming that this is going to hold because of what's happened in other patterns like this. And that's all you're doing is you're looking looking at, you know, things that have happened in the past. But at that particular point, you know exactly what your risk factor is. 
Uh, and that's the whole thing about trading. You don't focus on how much money you're going to make on a trade. You want to reverse your thinking and think about how much money you could possibly lose on the trade. That's the difference between winners and losers. Winners think about, you know, how much I can lose on a trade. They're always worried about their capital balance, whereas losers are thinking, how much can I win? And that's how Las Vegas sucks them in with all their, you know, big uh, payoff probabilities. Uh, but they don't tell you that and the lottery does the same thing, of course. But uh, it's how much you can win, and that's that's not what you want to do. You want to think about how much money you can lose, because you can only be right 10 or 15, 20, 30 percent of the time, and still make a lot of money in these markets if you keep your keep your losses relatively small. But if you get trapped into these things and you don't get out, there's where the problem lies. And it, it's something more than just losing money, folks. Is when you're in a losing trade, uh, it destroys the trader's soul, and that's the real thing that you don't want to lose, because if you got the spirit to do this and you like to do it, you know, it can certainly be done. Um, I had a, uh, a friend of mine call me the other day. I hadn't talked to him in about four years. And um, he had been uh, traveling in Europe with his family. And uh, he, he was remarking to me, he said, my God, he said, you know, you're, you're going to be 80 pretty soon. And you're still doing this eight, nine, 10 hours a day stuff, six and seven days a week. He said, you're ever going to retire? And I said, yeah, and do what? Exactly what I'm doing now. I retired 50 years ago. I still enjoy doing what I like to do. It's, it's a giant you know, backgammon game. And fortunately, I sometimes I'm better than others. Other times I'm not. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we want to talk about this dog-eared trade that we're in called the euro versus the U.S. dollar. We both we bought that yesterday at uh, 108.53. We're trading at 108.44 right now. You don't want to risk more than 30 pips on this, folks. It's been in a profit most of the night up until early this morning, but uh, it's not moving. That means it's going to make another new low here, and whether it's going to get down another 30 pips, you know, to uh, to see if that's going to be the case or not I'm not sure so you've got to be able to protect yourself in here um, you know right now you're almost at a scratch trade but uh, still a small loss so I would just keep that uh, keep that in mind because uh, if it's not working uh, you don't want to stand uh, you know stand in front of it to see that it's going to uh, you know going to do anything different because it, it could really be uh, you know a dog eared trade and you know break a lot lower because remember our our long term um, uh, target on the euro here is you know certainly at par but we're looking for a bounce here because we're down two weeks and we're at a major 61 percent retracement and 786 retracement you know at the same time and remember it's all about probabilities folks that's all it is uh, there's nothing uh, nothing etched in stone in any of these things so keep in mind that that's uh, something that i think is uh, relatively uh, important to uh, to be watching um, now the next one I wanted to talk about here is the crude oil market and then after that we'll get to the gold because uh, gold just doesn't want to give up it certainly and we've taken out yesterday's high now uh, in gold but let's get on to, to uh, the crude oil here first and then we'll get on to gold next you'll see uh, here in crude oil uh, we did make a higher high uh, from last week uh, we didn't go anywhere we backed off immediately uh, about a uh, dollar uh, 20 a barrel we've, we've held the 61 percent retracement here at that 33 uh, 30 area uh, we didn't quite get down to the uh, to the larger number down in here in crude but it's got a chance uh, to still get out of here as long as we can stay above 33 dollars a barrel we've got a chance at 37 to 38 dollars a barrel uh, in the uh, in the market so you want to be able to keep that uh, in, in the market to see what uh, you know to see what really happens anyway uh, we'll watch we'll watch this crude oil very very closely because I'm still bullish this I think we've got a chance to uh, to pop above it um, John Logan's um, profiles are still uh, very very positive so we'll we'll keep a, a close lie a close uh, uh, eye on it um, one of the questions that I'm going to repeat it again because I, I think it's important is this this is nothing more than a rally in a bear market folks this is uh, uh, you know it stopped exactly at the 50 percent on Friday uh, in the stock market and then yesterday with that big move we took that out that just sets up another higher number possibly uh, if we can get above you know 18 uh, 1983 in the S&P but somewhere in this zone here and this zone really starts uh, in tomorrow on the 4th uh, because we have the eclipse and everything we've got four more trading days into that uh, so we're going to have a real rock and roll week next week uh, on the uh, on between the eighth well probably probably the whole week long and, and there's must be something there that norm winsky from astro trends uh, is seeing because he only comes on when he sees something really uh, really powerful and he's been certainly spot on on some of these things and he has to come in on on thursday so we'll see if this is going to be something that is going to be, you know, pretty, uh, pretty significant. Um, now the gold market, we have now taken out the highs of uh, yesterday by a dollar or so, not very much as of yet. The silver still looks like a dying quail. I just don't see how silver is going to get out of its own way, but uh, it can change in a heartbeat, as we know from some of these things. So we want to keep uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, the euro is just made a new low uh, from yesterday by about one pip. So we need uh, we bought this thing at 53. It's trading at 35. So that's 18 points. And uh, if it gets much below the 25 level, 
you'd have to say, well, you say 23 because that would be your uh, that would be your your 30 pips. I wouldn't risk any more than that. And uh, if they get you, they get you. There's nothing else uh, that you can do when you're when you're watching these things. They're just trades. That's all they really are. And ne I can't believe I lost data again. I don't know what it is. It must be the connection that I have. Uh, to the radio show because I don't use lose data very often, but this time I have, and it's uh, very very frustrating to see that uh, going on. It says I'm getting data too. That's what's that's what's so scary. My whole my whole uh, my whole whole thing is frozen up. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Um, the market it looks like we're opening higher. I don't have any opening prices, unfortunately, so I'm not able to uh, to give you any information about that. But it looks like we are going to be open higher. There's a lot of companies, you know, that are opening, uh, you know, quite a bit uh, uh, lower, but there are some, of course, that are opening higher. Wow, that's a real uh, amazing thing to say. <laughs> okay, have to worry about that. The uh, someone someone asked me about about 1987 uh, on the bottom. Well, the the, the Bottom day was actually the 20th. Oh, we got a caller in. God bless you, Mike from Massachusetts. What can I help you with? Hey, Larry. How you doing, buddy? I'm above ground, staying away from open graves, my friend. All right. Listen, I, uh, I listen to you every day. This is my first time calling you. I was explaining all the ABCs to my buddy Eric, who's out there listening right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wanted to call in, and I actually wanted to ask you about dust. What you thought about the gold miners, if you think they might get a little pullback here. I know they've had a little bit of one, but... Well, the gold miners themselves, uh, you know, they moved up with the market, but they were pulled up by the bullion itself, which they should have been because gold went $200 an ounce from, uh, you know, from 1035 all the way up to uh, 1260, 1262. But I, I wouldn't be buying any miners in here. Uh, I think gold is closer to a top. Then it is a breakout, and I could be wrong because if we get above 1262 uh, in the gold, then we, we're certainly going to have a, a breakout. Uh, it might be related to something happening in the financial markets. You know, I don't know, but um, I wouldn't touch them here. I would wait until after we get through this eclipse area of next week, and then you know maybe see um, see what happens. But I have a real difficult time buying strength, Mike. So. Uh, a lot of these things, I, I, I miss some of them. And uh, a perfect example of that was the $100 from 11.30 to 12.30 in the gold. You know, I was sitting on the sidelines. I wasn't short, but I was sitting on the sidelines. And um, I had other things that were working okay, but um, that's neither here nor there. I wouldn't buy the gold miners here. That's my, that's my recommendation. Okay, so I'm in dust. I mean, like I said, I missed the run-up uh, on the – on the nugget, so I'm trying to catch a little bit of a pullback with the dust. Okay, uh, is that a, is that a gold mining stock? Is that must be being gold dust? Yeah, it's the opposite of the the nugget. I know you don't really get involved in those uh, direction shares, but uh, it's oh, this is, it's an e e t it's an ETF. Yeah, it's it's the direction shares of the opposite of the the nugget. It's the, it's the shorting the minus. Oh, okay. Wow, they got so many things. I mean, I, I look at these ETFs and I said, oh, my God, uh, yeah. I just don't know who thought of these things. But like, like Warren Buffett said, uh, he thinks they're the weapons of mass destruction. I don't know yeah. about that or not, but they sure have ETFs for everything. All hey, right, listen, buddy, thanks well, you for, answered thanks, my question thanks, anyway. Yeah, thanks for calling in, Mike. I appreciate it All a right. lot. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back and uh, we're going to be. Um, keeping a really close eye on the uh, wheat market and also the corn and the beans. We're going to have Rich Anderson on again next week. We had him on briefly uh, yesterday. We'll have Kyle Cooper from Centurion um, Energy. Uh, this young man really understands the energy business. He's been in it ever since he was a kid. And uh, not that he's that old. I think he's in his 30s, but he's certainly been around a long time. And Rich says he's the premier guy to watch. So he's going to talk to us about the energy complex, particularly the natural gas, because we've been waiting uh, very, very patiently to be a buyer of natural gas uh, down in here. So uh, we're getting close, somewhere in that 165 uh, per cubic feet is what I'm looking at. We're trading at 171 right now, so we got a little bit more to go. And as you know, natural gas can move uh, $5 as quickly as gas can move up. Uh, that was a little Freudian slip. Um, you know, when I watch this uh, stuff, by the way, can someone give me the last price, please, of the um, euro? Uh, if you could, please, and then also the uh, stop and pee. Uh, my data is uh, froze me out, and if I try to do anything, I'll lose the show. And since we only got about another 15 minutes, I don't want to do that. So, uh, okay, the euro is still holding in that area. If it gets below 108.25, folks, or 108.23, I would think that we would be uh, getting ready to uh, – you know, move to the downside. I'm going to be looking to um, to sell the S&P today up around that uh, 1977 level, uh, stopping it above 1987. And uh, I think we're close. I'm going to be nibbling at it here the next few days. Uh, and uh, we'll see. I, I won't be nibbling after Tuesday. I'll just flat be in there chomping away at it. But right now we want to be able to, uh, you know, keep our, keep our eye on it really quickly because it moves a, a great deal. We did have a 10-point sell-off last night, which was uh, more than we had all day after the run-up. I mean, we didn't have any more than a five-point correction in the S&P all during the run yesterday. And that's one of the things 
when we have these real strong trending markets, folks, is if you'll watch what happens as the market goes up, even though it's in a really strong trend, it's still repeating itself over and over again. We had five-point corrections several times in the S&P yesterday, uh, a couple of three-point ones, and now we've had a 10-point one overnight. And that so far has been the uh, the biggest. Well, actually, it was about 11 points. But uh, if we go below that uh, 1970 level now, that would be a, uh, a sense that you're probably going to get more of a correction in the potential for that uh, 1.27 expansion at uh, 1982 and a half, 83 and a quarter yesterday uh, could be a very very uh, important spot you know, to look at it. Uh, someone's asked me questions about the gentleman in, uh, in the, across the pond over in the UK. Uh, he likes to remain anonymous. Uh, he's very private, but he uh, he's, uh, really does a great deal of, uh, of research, far beyond anything this old cowboy ever thought I was, uh, uh, was ever even out there. But uh, it's, it's really amazing to see how these numbers that we work with are, are so, uh, they repeat so often. And uh, I just don't understand how people cannot look at technical analysis because it's, it's actually quite simple. I guess because it doesn't work every time. Whereas when you're dealing with fundamentals, those work every time. So there's probably the big difference uh, is what's happening there. So we'll, we'll watch that also. Anyway, Let's get back to Apple. Uh, someone's had a question about Apple. Um, and we finally got above the 100 level, and we've been down in that 93 level for so darn long. And now finally we per perked its head up. That gives an ABCD structure uh, in the Apple that comes in around the uh, 103 to 104 level. And we'll we'll find out what's happening. This, uh, no matter how you look at these charts, if you look at it from a technical basis, you frankly, it just doesn't uh, appear that we're going to have a a big uh, you know big move uh, in the uh, uh, Apple to the upside. I mean, it might go another five six dollars, but I don't think we're going to see uh, you know the one thirty eight level in in uh, Apple for any time uh, very soon. Uh, so, <laughs> someone's asked me a question about the legal ramifications of uh, uh, what's going on with Apple and the iPhones and stuff like that, and that's almost like watching the. Uh, it's almost like watching the the the. Uh, the elections. I mean, it's absolutely hilarious. And this is why, folks, when you're having a bad day, just turn on your country and western station and you'll get the real meaning of life. Songs like, the bridge is washed out, I can't swim, and my baby's on the other side. Now, that really tells you what life is all about. Or one of my favorite gospels, drop kick me Jesus through the gold pulps of life and don't let the ball wobble to the right. Well, these are the things that life's made on, folks. You don't have to listen to that politics stuff because those guys are lying. The old story, you can always tell when a politician is lying, his lips are moving. The same can be said about technicians in the market, I guess, but neither that. Uh, we have lines to look at uh, and we'll be able to see um, there's an old poem by Robert Frost that was in the movie The Mechanic, not The Mechanic, but uh, oh, that Charles Bronson's my very favorite favorite Charles Bronson movie. Oh, I can't even remember it. Anyway, places to go and things to see where the weather is deep. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, starts with a T. But darn it, it's my very favorite one. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll go on to there. I'm, I love movies so darn much. I I, I get enthralled with these darn things. But uh, I saw a great movie um, just uh, last night. Uh, Sarah being gone gives me time to watch some old movies, and I watched Hoosiers again from uh, Indiana basketball, and that was the the main thing that I uh, really liked. And then Steve is talking about the Magnificent Seven. No, it was not a it was not a Western. It was a, he was a Russian spy, and um, he was. Uh, Oh, darn it. They had programmed these people just like they do now as they had programmed Russian spies to become American citizens. And then they would basically train them that the, uh, a call would come in and they would uh, neuro linguistic programming would trigger them to be, you know, a, a telephone. That's it. Uh, Dr. Earl, you got it. Boy, well, we have smart people in this room. It really helps. Yeah, it was called telephone. And uh, yeah, it was a very one. Uh, uh, Donald Pleasance was the arch villain, but it was a, the very best 
best uh, Charles Bronson movie, and I liked them all, but Telephone was my favorite. Probably The Mechanic was uh, the second, but there are so many of them that I enjoyed, but it's really great. So we'll see what's happened. Okay, someone uh, give me an update, please. On uh, we got a break here. Uh, last on the S&P 500 and then the last on the Euro. I would appreciate that. And then we'll uh, see what happens. Also, I'm going to have Twentyman back on again. Jim Twentyman wants to come back and talk to us a little bit uh, about some harmonic number stuff that he had worked on. So we'll have Jim uh, on the road here because we need to get some people, uh, some new blood here on uh, the my, my show because you get tired of hearing me slap away at my... Uh, you know the uh, oh I like the death wish the you know all three death wishes were were really good so uh, I have, I met um, I met Bronson once at a cocktail party on one of the Reagan uh, uh, things back in seventy three I think and uh, it was at a Reagan fun this was when he was governor but uh, I met him there with his wife and uh, she's also the actress and but very nice man he's very very humble and uh, really nice guy 877-927-6648 I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're winding up the show here. Uh, we're selling off a little bit in the market, nothing really exciting today. We're still looking at this big uh, astro date that we have coming in here uh, very, very shortly in the next few days. Of course, it comes either Monday or Tuesday will be the exact time. Uh, we have Norm Winsky from Astro 10s coming on the 10th, so there's something big on the 10th, too. Otherwise, Norman wouldn't be uh, taking his valuable time out to talk to us here at uh, TFNN. We're also going to have uh, Shane Smolian on pretty soon because he's done some fabulous work with the Federal Reserve and how they do the buying. He was uh, very instrumental in uh, calling this bottom that we had just recently, and there's been a lot of Fed buying a, a lot. And, of course, there was some the day before the big uh, the big breakout to the upside, which was yesterday. Uh, there was It was flashing, you know, really strong uh, buy patterns. And my feeling was, and it certainly I, I didn't go long, but uh, once we went above the 1959 uh, level, that was probably uh, said it was going to go, you know, a lot higher. So we'll have to... Uh, to wait and see. So uh, the other thing that you have, if you have any questions about any particular guests that you might want to have on, you know, drop me an email and I'll see if I can contact these folks because the fun part of doing this show is we get to talk to people all over the globe uh, of what they're doing and some of the things that we're hearing and we want to be able to do that. Uh, John uh, Logan does a great job with it. So uh, talking to Joey Johns and the other fellow from Columbia and the other places that he travels to to hear, you know, different things you know from uh, different people that's an always a good thing to look at but this is nothing more than a, a reaction in a bear market uh, if you read Gartley's book you know he said sell that ABCD well the D's went a little bit higher than I thought I didn't think we we're going to get any higher than 1970 uh, but we did and I just don't know if we're going to be uh, going to the uh, to see what's going to happen with this thing, and we'll go from that level. One one final thing, if we get above 1262 in the gold, uh, that's going to be a valid breakout, folks, because uh, we, we made that top two weeks ago, and it hasn't gone down very much. 877-927-6648. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.